Hey, this is Jacob Evan. Thanks for tuning in. Over the past year or so, I mentioned a few times that I've been working on an email list. I've been building a list as kind of a, a way to keep in touch with you outside of YouTube, either as a backup plan or in the case that I wanted to go into some other content or directly communicate for some reason that isn't fitting for YouTube. And until recently, I hadn't been using that list, but a few weeks ago, I sent out the first email or the first newsletter for the list, and that was discussing the issue of community and floating some ideas about community. I found that whenever I had posted a survey on the Remember the Commands website, which was what you could do whenever you signed up originally for the newsletter, I found that the majority of people did not have a community, that there were some people that had a community that they met with regularly, some of them met with it some of the time, and then most people did not have that. And only a few of those people were just content with not having such a connection or such a, a community that they could connect with. And this was the subject of the first newsletter, so far the only newsletter that I've sent out through the email a couple weeks ago. And one of the ideas that I floated within the email was that maybe we could consider doing something like trying an online meeting or something like that, which is obviously less than ideal. Obviously, it's not exactly what anyone wants, and it has its negatives. But on the other hand, it's kind of like, well, what can we do in the interim? What can we do to facilitate what it is that we want? And so that was just an idea that I floated, and I found that most people, the vast majority, did not respond whatsoever. And so I thought maybe this is just a manifestation of the 10% rule or the 80-20 rule or the 95-5 rule, however it's framed. The idea that, say, I've got 2,700 subscribers and less than 10% of those actually are engaged with the videos on any regular basis and, and less than 10% of those people actually want to directly engage and so forth. And so maybe this is just a manifestation of that. Just the fact that only a few people responded means that only a few people are going to act in general. And then something else came up and I realized, well, maybe that's not the whole story. And that was, I found out that this is getting filtered into junk mail, that my emails from my ProtonMail account are just going into people's junk mail, even people that I've been talking to over email. And so this is one of those issues that I've been concerned with regarding these alternative platforms and regarding these supposedly secure websites and services that don't rely on these big companies, is that even though I can understand wanting to get away from these big companies for various reasons, on the other hand, it's not like these alternative ones just exist in a vacuum. It's not like they are entirely solving the problem because really they are also still under control by the system that we're in. And so I've had just a general pragmatic view on this rather than having any kind of overly principled view because because in my view the principles that most of these platforms hold I don't really care about anyway. I don't necessarily agree with them. I don't necessarily think that they're morally more right or anything like that. So I've just had more of a pragmatic view about it thinking that well what can I do to stay in contact with the most people? What can we do within the situation we have right now to generate the most benefit? And so that leads me to this subject of community, because on the one hand, I think it's possible that a lot of people are just kind of waiting for things to work themselves out. I know a lot of people are busy. I know that you know, everyone has got their home thing going on. That everyone has a full schedule and all of that, and even more than a full schedule. And so adding something onto that, trying to do something like community, especially whenever there are all these potential issues that could come up and all of these past experiences that were not very good. I can understand why people would maybe hesitate or maybe not agree to anything in particular yet. But on the other hand, I also wonder, well, what are we going to do? And that's kind of been my attitude is that what, what can we do? And I realize that it's possible that maybe there are other people interested. Maybe there are other people that actually do want to consider doing something, but Maybe they just didn't get the email. Maybe their email has changed, etc. So I decided I would bring this up on the channel directly in case it would catch some more interest. 
my attitude has been that I want to consider different options. I want to consider different possibilities and maybe experiment with some different possibilities as far as creating some connections, creating a reason to get together and talk about the Torah, talk about Torah-related issues, and also to talk about a Torah reading or Torah portion or something like that, and also to provide the opportunity for people to connect under those circumstances. I know from my own experience that there have been a number of people from the same state that have emailed me and have said, that they don't know anyone in their area and they want to meet people in their area and they just don't have a means of knowing who is around. And so having a reason to get together and having a reason to discuss these things might provide also a way to build some connections at the same time. I know from the past to not get expectations up very high for any individual thing, but I believe more in a systems approach now that instead of getting invested in, okay, we're going to do it this one way, and yes, I hope it's going to work, and then finding out, oh, people aren't really interested, people aren't really engaged yet. Instead of investing in that, I want to invest more in a continual development approach, a continual, continually trying to see what it is that can connect people. So I have some more specific ideas, and I'll talk about it in future videos, but I wanted to bring this up for now to generate awareness in case for those who are interested, in case that you missed the contact before. So feel free to let me know what you think, and if you are interested in the list and you're probably not on it yet, then feel free to let me know via my email, tarawcentric at protonmail.com, no spaces, no dashes or anything, just all together. Thanks for watching. Stay focused and be tenacious.